up you guys welcome back to living with kiki you're living with kiki you're living with me and today's video will be about my weight loss journey part two and i'm also going to give you 10 tips to help you jumpstart your weight loss journey before we get into that can y'all please hit that red subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell to turn on all notifications and so if you have not seen part one i will link it in the description down here please watch part one and then come back to part two I ended the video off saying, what does a well-balanced diet look like for me? I'm just gonna give y'all examples of what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So for breakfast, my go-to is I love oatmeal. So I might eat oatmeal and a piece of fruit, typically like a banana. Um, if I don't eat that, then I'll eat an egg white omelet. I get the egg whites that are already in the carton because I'm too lazy to actually do the homemade egg whites. And inside of that, I might do like a turkey sausage if I do use cheese, it will be a low fat cheese. And after that's done, I put pico de gallo on top of it and I use sour cream because I don't know why y'all, I am just so obsessed with sour cream. Something else I do for breakfast is I make smoothies. Yes, girl, I love me a good smoothie. And you know what, speaking of smoothies, I be seeing y'all make smoothies and I say this in the nicest way possible. Y'all smoothies don't be smooth. Like, hence the name smoothie. It's supposed to be smooth. So I'm definitely gonna have to do a video showing y'all how I actually make my smoothies because what y'all been doing has it did not make the cut. I promise you it did not make the cut because no, no, I'm not I'm not I'm not pleased. I'm not pleased. Sis, I got you. It's okay. I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect smoothie. Like, but comment down below right now if you definitely wanna see me make show you how to make a smoothie like so that is pretty much it for what i eat for breakfast i'm very simple i eat the same things over and over again lunch and dinner they're pretty much this not the same but you can eat the same thing my favorite meal for lunch and dinner <laughs> i really have a problem like favorite meal to eat are tacos i love me some tacos y'all my sister talk about me because i eat tacos like every freaking day all right, not every day. And so make sure in your tacos, you use ground turkey. Ground turkey says inside of the tacos, I love y'all. I love pico de gallo. Like that is like the best thing that they ever created. Like whoever created pico de gallo is a freaking genius. Like pico, pico de gallo and I use sour cream. I love me some sour cream, y'all. Sour cream, but make sure, sis, make sure you use a serving size. Don't dump a whole bunch of sour cream because we don't need all them extra calories. And then I might do a little bit of cheese maybe sometimes. And that's pretty much it for the tacos. Oh, lettuce, gotta have your lettuce. I be throwing extra lettuce in there. That's my favorite meal. I love me some chicken wings. I love chicken wings, like, mm, they make me so happy. Chicken wings and veggies, any green veggies. Corn is not a vegetable, I'm sorry. It's a starch. No, you need a green vegetable. Green vegetables for sure. Like you can eat string beans, greens, um, collard greens, broccoli, asparagus, something green. Because, sis, that's how that weight be cut. And your stomach be cut, sis. Eat all them greens. Unpopular opinion. I am not a fan of rice. Unless it's fried rice or y'all know that chicken flavored rice. That is bomb, bro. That's the only rice I really eat. I love sweet potatoes, like sweet potato fries. I, sweet potato, okay, sweet potatoes, like, all right, all right, let's talk about this. People talk about sweet potato fries. However, you gotta know how to season them, okay? Like sweet potatoes are already sweet, so you can't like, you gotta make sure you counteract. You gotta do the opposite. Like, season it with, I can't think of the seasons. That's gonna have to be another video because honestly, y'all, uh, I really forgot what I seasoned it with, but they were so good. They were another one of my favorite meals to eat are homemade turkey burgers, y'all. I'm not even gonna fake it. Act like I cooked that. No, my mom cooks that. You know what? My mom loved the camera, y'all. I'm not even gonna fake. She loved the camera. So we may just have to bring her on here. And I think I'm going to do a what I eat in a day video. Like comment down below if you wanna actually see what I actually eat. That way it'll be easier to visualize it. Comment below, let me know right now. Y'all gotta comment though if y'all want me to do it. Comment right here. And if y'all do want that, let me know if y'all wanna see Nikki J come and do, make her homemade turkey burgers. I don't gas her because she's my mother. I don't hype her because I love her. No, 
they be bomb. I know what I forgot, y'all. Y'all know my memory is terrible. So when I make my tacos, I don't use regular tortillas. I use a low carb and low calorie tortilla. Like 50 calories because sis, come on now. I'm trying to save my calories. Like <laughs> for the turkey burger, I'll do the same thing. I'll use the tortilla for the turkey burger and it's still bomb. Make sure when you have your turkey burger that you have some vegetables with that green vegetables. Moving on, my theory for why I did not hit a plateau is that I wanted to slowly take my body into different stages, okay? Once you mastered one stage, you would then go to the next stage. As I did that, my body was not so overwhelmed, so I did not quit on my journey. And because my body was constantly changing in each stage, my body never got used to it. So I never hit a plateau. Most people hit a plateau because their body adjusts to it. If you're doing the same workout every day, eventually you're gonna stop losing weight because your body is getting used to it. They're like, this is the norm. We're used to this now, we good to go. Let me give y'all 10 quick tips to help you jumpstart your weight loss. And again, this has nothing to do with working out because again, we have to definitely master this before we can go to the next stage, okay? Tip number one. This is the most important tip. Do not compare your journey to anyone else's. I lost 45 pounds. That does not mean that you're gonna lose 45 pounds. You may lose way more weight than me, quicker than me, or you may not lose as much weight as me, okay? Everyone's body is different and it's a million different reasons for why we lose weight and what goes into us losing weight. And so you cannot compare your journey to someone else's journey. And plus, it's just gonna get you frustrated and just gonna make you wanna quit. Tip number two, do not starve yourself. Sis, I love to eat. And if they would have told me that I had to starve myself to lose weight, then I would have been big for the rest of my life because I love to eat and I ain't missing no meals. Do not starve yourself because when you starve yourself, your body holds on to body fat and because it's going into starvation mode. And so you actually can gain weight like that. Tip number three. I did half of this tip, y'all. I wish I would have did the full tip. Tip number three is take measurements and weigh yourself. So you can get a starting weight and starting measurements. When I say measurements, I mean weigh your arms, weigh your waist, weigh your, I mean, if you want, you can weigh your neck. I don't think people do that, but some people, I guess, weigh everything. I said weigh, measure, measure, y'all, measure. I did not take measurements of my body, really. I did do my weight. Also, when you take your weight, take your weight as soon as you wake up in the morning. Literally, when you wake up in the morning, go pee. Do not brush your teeth yet. Don't do nothing. Go get on the scale. As soon as you finish getting off the scale, go brush your teeth, okay? In that order, do not forget tip number four. Drink water only. No more soda, no more sugar, no more juice. I said no more sugar, juice. No more soda, no more juice, only water, and drink half of your body weight. So what does that mean? If you weigh 200 pounds, half of your body weight is 100. So you need to drink 100 ounces of water. At least, that's the minimum. That's the minimum, y'all. Y'all can drink more. I want y'all to drink more because the more the better. Tip number five. Download this app called My Fitness Pal. My Fitness Pal is a free app. They do have a premium version. I do not use it. It is an app that allows you to track your food. And that brings us into tip number six. Measure your food portion control sis this is the reason of us americans overeat we need to measure our food if you look on the back of the box packaging or anything it has a serving size the serving size says how much you are supposed to eat and it gives you the calorie amount for that so let's say for example we're gonna take cookies because i know y'all like cookies because i love cookies ain't nothing changed matter of fact i'm gonna be back let me get some Quaker's caramel rice crisp okay Let's look on the back. Alrighty, I see. Calories, 100. One serving per container. So that means that this entire bag is 100 calories, okay? But when you have like cookies or anything, most things have more than one serving size. And so 
you need to eat how much the actual serving size is like measure i definitely recommend if you don't have get like measuring cups and spoons because that would definitely help and get a scale that's what i did i got one off of amazon for like eight dollars so i'm actually hungry now so we are actually gonna eat these but tip number seven is no junk no sugar no sweets sis sorry y'all my mother said stop talking with food in my mouth sweets those cookies you got in your refrigerator i mean in your pantry or in your house this party loud let me stop throw them in the trash right now Listen, you can't just throw them out and have nothing to snack on some you can you can get are these I love these instead of eating chips they have different flavors um, I also love rice cakes by themselves so you can get some oatmeal low-fat oatmeal eat you some fruit okay some fruit eat a protein shake you can make a smoothie y'all and I know sometimes you just be having a taste for but it's like once you once we get into the stage and you start getting the hang of it like those cravings will go away no sugar stop using sugar we no longer use that white or brown sugar i use stevia stevia is a sugar replacement stevia is a sugar replacement i use that so in your coffee and your tea and in your smoothies we are using stevia sis you can either get the powder or you can get the liquid I, like the liquid is supposed to be better for you but i like the powder because i'm able to control more of what i use this them doritos the Doritos gotta go. Them Oreos. Sorry, I'm even read. Them Oreos, them M&Ms. Y'all probably over here snacking on y'all snacks right now. Comment below if you over here snacking right now. I ain't gonna judge you. I just wanna make sure I ain't crazy. I know y'all over here snacking. Like, let me know. <laughs> Comment right now if you would like for me to just do a video on healthy snacks that you can eat. Tip number eight, no fried food. Y'all, I love me some fried chicken. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, that was ghetto. Dang, sometimes I get real ghetto or real ratchet. I'm just like, that's a DMV thing. All right, I'm not even on fate. Like, I love me some fried chicken. No, boo. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. You need to put that chicken in the bake it, grill it. Y'all, grilled chicken is bomb. Put it in the broiler, in the oven. Still good. We can still have like barbecue chicken. We not have no fried chicken that we have. My favorite tip is coming up coming up in the next video after this ad ha huh, jk we not monetized yet <laughs> number nine is my favorite tip and that is to meal prep y'all some of y'all not gonna do this some of y'all are very against meal prepping for some reason you claim it doesn't taste the same however y'all when i meal prep it is like i take one day a week to meal prep sometimes i do too because just depending on what food it is some food just don't last that long i ain't got time i don't got time to be figuring out what i'm gonna eat every day i sit down one day and figure it out okay i don't have time because when i don't meal prep i eat anything or i don't eat anything and i'll just like eat bad food meal prep we go for you those of y'all who claim y'all don't like meal prepping because you don't like the way food taste literally just cook at nighttime every night i want you to cook for y'all for those of y'all who mind eating leftovers y'all we gonna do three to five days okay go to the dollar store or go to target and buy you some containers separate the meals remember we measuring with our scales right and if you wanted to keep it fresh you can throw that joint in the freezer right until like the day before you ready to use it 10 is alcohol oh. can y'all tell Marjorie? because why would you film a video about food and not eat number 10 is alcohol <laughs> sis bro all that alcohol you drinking every weekend i got into this a little bit into part one all that alcohol you drinking every weekend is why that's why <laughs> that's why you need to cut that back if you can cut it all together i know some of you are not going to cut it out but says do me this do me this all that i want you to cut alcohol out for depending on how much you drink some people drink every weekend I want you to try to cut it out for two weekends. 
let's try one weekend because i ain't trying to give y'all stuff that's too hard right two weekends if you can't cut out all together and if you just absolutely cannot cut out alcohol because there are some people that just gotta have the alcohol for some reason well you ain't gotta have it you just want to have it stop drinking sugary drinks those mai tais those um daiquiris those strawberry hennies whatever y'all be drinking all that sugary stuff gotta go cut it out right now because all that is just sugar and it's just like drinking juice I drink a whole bunch of juice and then you get more and more. Brown liquors, you really want to stay away from those because they have more sugar in it. You really only want to stay around vodkas and tequilas because they don't have extra sugar in it unlike other alcohols. Although alcohol does turn into sugar when it ferments. However, it does not have additional sugar in it. And, but I guarantee y'all that if you cut out alcohol, if you drink a lot and you cut out alcohol, you will see significant results. You will see significant results telling you sis because i know because i'll be eating healthy all week and then i will go out drinking and then i'll be like i gained weight oh i'm the same weight how i didn't worked out three days this week three four days this week and i ate good every meal it's the alcohol sis <laughs> honestly all those mixtures and stuff like that are not good Alrighty, we are coming to a close. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Psych nah, thank you guys for watching. Um, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Please comment in the comment section. I really appreciate y'all watching so so much. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. <laughs> right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there.